Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. And uh, we are going to take a look in on my migration here. Now this was the, um, the spicy bin, or some like it hot bin, uh, where I fed peppers on one side and apples on the other to see which one the worms uh, liked. If you want to see that series, then I will link that below. But right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the worms out of this so that I can uh, start using this bin for something else. Uh, it's come to completion now, and as I'm digging through here, I'm seeing that there are still some worms. So I think I'm going to make sure that it's completely fluffed up here, and that way possibly it will become inhospitable to the worms, and then they will want to continue their migration out of this bin. So they are moving over to this um, bedding over here, and I think we're doing pretty good, really. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, I've seen a handful of worms, like you, you go over there. Um, so we're really not seeing a lot of worms in this area, but I just don't think it's done yet. Um, so I think, I don't know, maybe I should take out this stuff here and move it to a physically different bin and give them a new area to migrate to. That way there can't be any back and forth business going on. So let me grab a new bin to move things to. Okay, so um, as this project has come to a close, let me know what other experiments would you want me to do? Because um, right now this bin has got quite a bit of worms here. I'll show you when we get it over to the new place. But we've got quite a bit of worms here. They are definitely migrating very, very nicely. But if we're going to start a new project, then we should get them a new bin so that these castings can dry out, etc. So put in the comments below, um, what would you like to see in a new project from me that I don't already have going? So I do have a experimental um, worm bin playlist, so if you want ideas of other things that possibly we could do, or if you have a fabulous idea on your own, then uh, feel free to put that in the comments below. What is the next project that you want me to do? What is it that you've been dying to uh, find out about, but you didn't want to mess with your own worms, or you don't have enough worms to do it with? All right, so yes, I've just mixed some of the bedding in there, and I'm irritated with myself, but it will sift out as I sift all of my castings anyway. So let's just get that all stretched out and dry ish and then I'll add a little bit more fresh bedding on the side here for them to migrate to. Wish I uh, hadn't shredded all my cardboard or I'd have a nice little division thing here uh, like AV but I don't have one. So we're going to restart this uh, feeding area here and then possibly the rest of these worms will get out. Okay, I'm going to make it smaller this time. So I've got some limes or lemons or something here. So I'll just squish them up really good. And hopefully that will be something that entices them over to the feeding zone over here. Kind of tamp that down a little bit top it off because I really didn't do a good job of burying that bad in. Alright, so then I'm going to flatten this out so hopefully it'll dry and make the worms want to leave and get over there to that nice new food. But yeah, so I want to hear everybody's ideas. What is a new project for me to do with these worms? Um, anything you want. I mean, within reason. I mean, nothing that's going to hurt the worms. So, if you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.